Montana last August and my truck where's Mike? Mike, the truck that we dug out of Mike's backyard, old hickory. <laughs> It, it got me through the summer in Montana and then it died in Butte, Montana. And I knew my walkabout was starting. <laughs> so I came back here and I didn't know where I was going to go, but I got to stay at Donna and Randy's house. And I was out in their field and I was thinking to myself, I was like, wow, I have all these options mm. of where I could go. I could go to New Orleans, I could go to Minnesota, I could go to Italy, I could go stay here and I and I was really quiet and I was just sitting right in the middle of the field it's raining <laughs> and I was like I the strongest rope says go to Ireland and I was like oh I can't do that oh, it's too far <laughs> it's too far so I go I'm realizing as I'm telling this that you're actually all part of this story too so I go and I meet Ellen for lunch the next day and I said, Ellen, I really want to go to Ireland, but it, it's really, you know, it's kind of far and I don't, what am I going to do? And, and she says, well, you know, my earrings this morning, she showed me how her earrings had like said oh, the word, was these. go. Yes. And it was these And earrings. they had landed on her dresser in this word, go. Oh, and I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> that was the That's earrings. it. Okay. Fine. They were like this. They were, <laughs> oh, oh, we were eating lunch at Hi, we were at the park. And I hut. took them off because they were ah, bugging me. And, and they, this is what they look oh, like. Here's the train. Oh, right Did you see it? It says say go. It says yeah. go. <laughs> so I said, okay, it's, I'm not going to. This has been something I've wanted to do for years and years and years. And I play the fiddle. And. Everybody's cheering. Yes. <laughs> And I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. So I bought my I bought my ticket and I said, okay, what's the most I can stay in Ireland for the longest amount of time? And it was nine, 90 days. <laughs> 90 days. And I went always. Oh, Everybody get drink. Wait for the train. What's a good Irish toast? Slancha. 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 To everybody. We're coming. Mm-hmm. May all your joy be true joy, and may all your pain be champagne. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a really good one. May you be in heaven. What's that? It's like half hour. <laughs> Say it again. It's like Guinness. It's like mother's milk. It's like milk. mother's milk. For your strength. Yeah, from the Seattle, and then I hopped over to Boston. And then I hopped over to Ireland. And, um, and I was staying with two different families there in Ireland. And one family was in County Clare in the west, and the other family was in County Cork in the kind of the southwest, both near the ocean. And um, I landed there with our friend um, and fellow, he's like John Young's adopted uncle, his name's Jerry Brady. I think some of, I think maybe you've met him before. And he calls himself a, he's a self-proclaimed leprechaun. <laughs> and he picks me up and my phone isn't, isn't working. And uh, they almost didn't let me into the country because I had the fiddle on my back and they thought that I was going to be busking and they asked me all different kinds of ways. <laughs> and he says, he says to me, and um, the guy, the customs guy he says, well, um, how long are you staying, how long are you staying? I said, three months, and he says, three months in the winter. And I said, that's right. And he says, well, what are you going to be doing then? And I said, well, I'm going to be volunteering. I'm going to be staying with some friends. And, he's, and he looks at me and says, well, nobody comes to Ireland for three months in the winter. Nobody wants to come. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, and I said, well, well I do. <laughs> and then he kind of shakes his head and stamps my passport. I go in and try and find Jerry Brady and he's late and I'm just like, oh no, I can't call him because he doesn't really use his cell phone either. <laughs> and finally, so I just sit there, I just kind of wait for him to pick me up. And he comes and he picks me up and we go down to the parking garage and he can't find his car. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he's like, oh. 
So we like basically wander around the parking garage for two hours. No, no, no. <laughs> I forgot my bed. And I'm just like, okay. And then I try to open the car door and I'm getting in the wrong side because it's the driver's side. Oh. <laughs> and by this time I'm just tired. Like it's like three in the morning, Boston time. I'm just like, I can't even, I don't even know what I'm doing. Okay, I finally walk around to the other side. And he takes me to his house, tiny little house in Dublin. And he says, he says, uh, I'm dying for a cup of tea. And I was like, right, that's, that's right. He's like, would you like a cup of tea? And I was like, sure. And that was like, that was like the very first time and it never stopped from there because they always, that's always what they do. You get home and you have a cup of tea. You, somebody comes over and you have a cup of tea. Uh, they don't offer you coffee or soda or any, you know, it's just, what would you like in your tea? Is what, is what they offer you, right? Yes. So, would you like would you like milk milk in your tea? Yes. Okay. So I stay with him for a couple of days and then I go and there's um there and there's 70 people standing in this in this, sitting or standing in this upstairs room and I, I know there were 70 because I counted there were 70 people in this upstairs room in this tiny little pub in Galway and they're all kind of crammed in shoulder to shoulder. and we walk in and it's dark and we're just like whoa nobody has instruments and then we realize that we've stumbled onto the singing session <laughs> in Galway and I find a spot I kind of look there's a stool okay so I grab it and I'm sitting there and the guy next to me says do you sing and I said sometimes <laughs> and he says well would you like to sing tonight? And I realized I've sat next to the guy who's in charge. Uh oh. And and I'm and, and I'm worried Carrie's gonna be so drunk she's gonna forget me. So this is also in my mind as I'm up there with my fiddle. I thought there were gonna be instruments. Ah. So I say I realize to Bantry, catch a bus from Bantry to Cork City, bus from Cork City to Ennis, and then we had to find a way to get to Ennis to Connolly because she lived in the middle of the country too. And so we, Dolan was like, it'll be fine, we'll get a ride, it'll be awesome. So we start off and I have my backpack. And